Hello and welcome to Tonalist Paintings by M. Francis McCarthy. This is your painter in residence. Uh, you can call me Mike. And um, the uh, painting that we are doing today is called Approaching Weather. Um, three days ago, I think it was probably, uh, it was Wednesday. Um, today is Saturday. Uh, actually, let's give you the date. Why not, eh? It's the day, it's Saturday the 28th. Um, we we did the study for this back on Wednesday, and uh, one of the reasons that I uh, wanted to do this one is it was uh, very recent, and I've just recently uh, got a chance to finally composite all of my, um, you know, all the different constituent video parts together, and uh, and this is basically what you're seeing right now is sped up 13 times, actually probably 15 times over my usual um, painting rate but the reason for that is uh, I want to keep these videos around the uh, seven to uh, around the seven minute mark I don't even want to go to eight to be honest um, this gives you a good sense of uh, what I do and how I'm doing it and if you're interested you can always uh, slow down the video and there's plenty of ways to download video off YouTube by the way um, anyway uh, Let's see, I was going to talk about uh, today, um, I just recently made some, some, a couple enhancements in my studio situation, which is, uh, I'm not using a, it's a quite large, uh, uh, not large monitor by today's standards, but it's a good size monitor uh, that I discovered uh, will accept the uh, USB sticks. and. Um, I have been using a digital frame for about the last six to eight months, actually since the beginning of the 100 days of Totalism Project, so yeah, quite a bit longer, maybe even uh, nine months now. Um, and the reason for that was uh, because I didn't want to uh, print out uh, all 100 of my uh, reference images. Um, printing is still one of the uh, most expensive things to do in the computing world. Um, and so uh, back then I'd had a digital frame that uh, was working, you know, uh, pretty well for displaying, um, you know, images of my art. And I, I'd, I'd actually had it configured to show illustrations and things like that that I'd done. Um, but I was underusing it for sure. Um, so the idea struck me that it would be really cool to use for reference. And it was very cool, very good. The only issue with it is only about 5 by 7 inches. It was a little bit small. Um, although certainly big, bigger than I was printing out most of my reference anyway, so uh, just to save on ink. But uh, this new monitor is probably, oh geez, 20 inches by about maybe 13, 12, 12 inches high, the image area on it. So even a vertical image displayed on this uh, horizontal monitor is quite a bit larger. Um, and horizontal images are really big, and so the effect is almost like uh, looking out a window as opposed to, you know, looking in on this small space and, and maybe straining a bit. Um, it's not really about the detail either, although I like to see things clearly. I'm not going to be painting every leaf on every tree. That's not how I work. Um, What's interesting today is that uh, it's a f you know I've been using this larger uh, we'll just call it a digital frame for now a larger digital frame um, to do some large paintings for this whole week and it's been working out pretty well um, uh, especially this all came about because my uh, studio computer uh, that I'd been using for a long time uh, basically sort of died and. Uh, I mean, um, actually I've got a laptop to work in its place now, but uh, this monitor that I was using with it, I was poking around and discovered it had a USB port and stuck a stick in there. And lo and behold, I've got the, uh, the large, uh, you know, digital frame I was looking for. And I'd actually just recently bought one that uh, the uh, image quality was what I'd call substandard on. So um, anyway, <coughs> It's very interesting today when I was first time I've got into doing some 5x7s again because I've got a new video camera to record uh, movies which uh, yeah, I'm sure you folks appreciate because this is a Panasonic uh, 
770 it does a great job and uh, I'm really pleased with it so far and uh, it's all for you people it's all for you <laughs> anyway um, I noticed that it was a bit weird you know using a reference image that was so much larger than the little study I was doing and at one point I even got my small Sony 5x7 frame out but uh, for some reason, it, the images just didn't seem bright enough on it, so I bagged that, and uh, I think I'll see it through. It, it was um, the thing that I was challenged with was getting, um, you know, everything to fit on the picture plane, and the translation uh, from that big to very small was um, it was a bit awkward. I, I think I managed to to, to pull it off in the. Uh, probably did um, well those of you that have been following the blog I know I always say that but uh, I like to start with a drawing stage so uh, I've been uh, going about setting up my reference imagery uh, for the last oh my god two three weeks you know a bit here and there um, around other things and uh, I finally got it done last night and thought oh well, this is a perfect thing to test out my uh, my new video camera on since uh, these will be brand new projects uh, starting with the new video so um, that was a reason for uh, you know some synchronicity I guess everything sort of came together and uh, you know new series of paintings um, that's another thing I've been experimenting with is starting my my new series well within the period where I'm working on the last series because I really like having these little paintings to do. It helps keep me loose, and it's a lot um, less um, work than doing the larger pieces. So, um, if I can, uh, pardon me, uh, I'm, I'm basically trying to squeeze in a little extra painting in a day, too. So, if I finish uh, a stage on a larger painting, a lot of times I really don't want to pick up and uh, start a whole new. Um, you know, stage on a new painting uh, in the in the late afternoon, um, but I'd be you know far more open to uh, to doing something on a little five by seven, even if it's maybe not starting it, maybe it's doing some stage on that because I know uh, those take a lot less time. And um, actually, you can really gauge that because the uh, the study that we did for this painting we're doing today back on Wednesday. I think I only had to speed it up like five times faster than the uh, composite video that I created where like I said this is sped up almost 15 times over uh, my actual painting speed. Um, actually we're getting to the stage in the video right now where you can see I'm doing uh, a bit of my finishing work and this is where I'm getting into a lot of that dry brushing that I talked about in our last blog post and um, you can see here I'm, this is my my finishing stage you can see is almost a whole different approach to painting than in my initial block in my initial block in you know trying to cover a lot of ground and change up the colors and keep things interesting but you know at the same time I need to cover up my my whole panel in that session whereas in these finishing stages it's more about refining smoothing out and uh, it's just a different mindset. Anyway, I can see, uh, you know, we're getting close to the end of this video today. If you'd like to see more of my work, go to landscapepainter.co.nz and check it out. That's our co.nz. And uh, we're going to see you next week, uh, Wednesday, uh, with a new painting. So take care, and we'll see you then.